Well, hello, people, and welcome back to part 49 of this year, how Australians buy a build. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, welcome back to the town of Broker. We missed an episode last week because I was a little bit poorly, but we're back on form this week, so. Uh, welcome back to the town of Broker, everyone. Uh, today, I want to focus on uh, kind of the, I guess, the town centre is really what we're going to call it today. This kind of beachfront here has some blocks around the commercial to focus on. And we mentioned we want this kind of area to be... Maybe like it was an old kind of tourist town, you know. Broker used to be the place where people came to party and to enjoy the beach. Since then, Valkyrie has developed a little bit more of a tourist offering. And of course, Sentinel has the best beach probably in the city. I think it's nice and wide, isn't it? Super, super big and very nice. And then you kind of got the smaller towns out here as well. So Broker has just kind of become an industrial mining town. And because of that, people don't really want to come here anymore. So I think we'll get started by starting to line up some more choice commercial assets against the main strip. So we've got, of course, a few different kind of oldie wildy buildings from our um, Australian collection. I think we'll throw a few of these down in different configurations. I've also got these New Zealand ones as well, which we very rarely come to use, but I would like to have them included. So, all this sort of stuff. Now, I wouldn't mind actually including some tourism and leisure here. We're definitely staying away from this sort of stuff. That's that's way too much of a clash of what we want. That's sort of the thing you'd find in Sentinel now, isn't it? So, I think some of the smaller ones, basically the, the grottier we can make this look, the better, I think, is going to be the vibe here today. Don't mind that one. Go into some commercial as well. And we've also grabbed uh, the Rump Motel as well. Uh, which was one that we had uh, over in Ilos, which was always a firm favourite, wasn't it? Real lights that's it. And uh, we could also use the actual Hotels DLC um, motel as well, which I might actually have a look at. We'll compare it to the room, but I think the room's going to be better, isn't it? Just because the workshop item, they usually are better. Uh, but let's dig out the motel. Then again, there's no beach prop, uh, sort of town. There's no reason why it can't have multiple motels right yeah i don't mind that one there at all so we'll have that one maybe a couple more properties over let's just sort of rearrange how we're sitting here let's move these guys over here and then this one can come pretty much in there it'll almost make it look like the diner here is actually part of the motel Something along that sort of line is quite nice, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's better. Cool. So we'll have that one there, and then we'll get the actual um, Hotels DLC motel. And we can have this one maybe over on this strip here, perhaps. Definitely want to bob the vanilla trees off of that, though, because that looks horrendous. So we will keep with the palm vibes, although we'll switch them out for... Done a little nicer, maybe a royal palm. And then tree variants one and two, I think we'll just straight up delete. Makes a world of difference, Bob, doesn't it? Very nice. Cool, yeah, so we can have a motel there. So another thing I really want to form around um this sort of central commercial bit is a bit of a kind of a back alley, I think. Now we can use our very small little concrete connector roads to help form this. So I think we'll have it go just behind the motel. I'd like another one out here as well. Something like that. And then we can start forming our commercial around here. So on the actual main street, of course, there are still people that live here. So we do, well, we don't want basically all the commercial to be totally run down and just knackered. So with that in mind, I would still like some actual functioning commercial here. So let's go ahead and pop down some of our favourites. But again, I don't want to be getting too, too fancy with this. You know, no, um, definitely no shopping mall stuff. It's just, it's too nice for this sort of atmosphere, I think.
But this really kind of completes a little bit more of a rundown and you know what's left of a touristic offering here. The buildings haven't been updated to be you know, what they are in Sentinel, as a contrasting example will fly over there. You know, Sentinel's touristic offering is very modern. Lots of pedestrian street and landscaping and sort of brands and nice shops, etc. So this is where people come on holiday now, and they don't particularly care for Broker's Waterfront anymore. So hopefully we can achieve this vibe. So we'll get a ton of decals and whatnot around here as well. We've also got some um, graffiti decals, which I'm quite keen to explore today. Uh, we will have a little look at them. Uh, so, of course, there's a bunch of these on the workshop. But we can put them in many different places. Let's have a little look. We've also got some mobile homes today, which we'll get near the waterfront too. This sort of stuff, you know, we can also elevate these up and down with move it if we wish. So we can get a bunch of decals, which we'll do in our detail in time lots, of course. But uh, just to kind of indicate the presence of, you know, run down and not particularly well maintained anymore. I think just the occasional subtle graffiti decal that will go a long way to helping us achieve that. Hopefully something that sort of fashion. It's going to be pretty subtle, but... It'll help, I think. Yeah, so I don't mind that at all. That's so for a bit of a of old high street, I guess. Old commercial front. Nice wall to wall action here as well. Some slightly seedier motels and kind of crappy nightlife. Especially karaoke. <laughs> Could not imagine a worse night out. And then we've got plenty of space for, for delivery detail around here as well. So we can get into that. So let's turn our attention um, toward the beach. So, you know, once upon a time, this would have been filled with sun lounges and people selling watermelon, etc. But now not so much anymore. I think what I would like to do is construct kind of a few little uh, rocky outcrops if possible. So we'll definitely have some larger rocks uh, towards the coast over here. I do like these ones. And then maybe over here as well where the land kind of elevates away from the sand we can get some more rocks around here and then just across the beach so let's say for example I'll tell you what i actually would like to do is make the beach walkable so we'll do that first so we will have the gravel pathway and we'll use surface painters clipping function to remove the texture from this but i definitely would still like to see people walking across the beach so just where, just where it makes sense up to any pedestrian crossings. Same thing over here too. Up there. And then over there as well. I would still like some beach activity here. So why don't we get some volleyball courts down maybe? There we have one and two. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Have a couple of these. I feel like a skate park might also be quite welcome here as well. Why don't we grab that while it's on the brain? Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then we'll let our pathways loop around these new assets. Perfect. That should give some activity to the beachfront. Uh, and then around the beach, uh, I'd like some sort of custom rockier outcrops, if you like. So we'll use our favourite grey detail rock number four which I'm sure is the geological term for such a rock and then let's come down to our smaller uh, trees here there's definitely a couple of these dry little grasses would be welcome a little bit of shrubbery as well wouldn't mind the occasional little fan palm either we are quite tropical here so palms are certainly welcome yeah, but it's these little and of wild grasses, grass sprites, etc. that I'm looking to perform up. All this stuff is perfect. And then let's jump up a tree size, possibly to maybe check out a cabbage palm. A couple of these. So just over time, as the beach is no longer as well trodden as it used to be, because there's not hundreds of tourists walking back up and down to the beach every day, you know, just essentially nature is starting to reclaim the beach. Now, there's a million different variations we can do with this, but I just want to copy and paste them around 
the beach. And of course, we'll do different custom ones as well. We won't all have them the same because that will look a little bit too um, repetitive, I guess, if it's all the same configuration of trees and bush. But then let's wrap them up with some more pathway. This way it kind of looks like people are walking around them. And then with that surface painter, we can just clip now. And we can remove the texture of the walking pathway. Of course, it still remains there, so it makes it a walkable beach. It's a little sort of trick, you know, if you um, don't want to go ahead and download invisible paths, or you, know, you just don't want more assets in your collection. And Surface Painter can essentially create invisible pathways for you with this clip function. We've covered it before, but I'll always mention it every time, because I know we always get questions on it. So now as people walk around the beach, they'll be walking around these little outcrops of overgrowth and whatnot. We also had a great suggestion in the Discord server uh, that Port Headland might actually be quite good inspiration uh, for this particular build. Big shout out to the Candyman, of course. He's been very much involved in the Thessia series. And um, definitely get into the street view here. There's some really good inspiration. There's almost like kind of chain link fencing, I guess is the best way to describe it. Or just sort of like a very heavily overgrown beach. So I think what we will do is come ahead and grab our Thessia dry belt. Now, let's just take, I guess we could do this stretch as an example here, actually. So we want quite a dense um, overgrowth palette between the road and the sand. So this will, this will be great. Let's just do it here. And I guess we'll also take it down this direction as well. And I think I'll probably complement that again with some more of the vanilla overgrowth. Just so it's got kind of a, a thicker base to it, if you like. Make sure we don't encroach upon the road, of course. But well, that's pretty decent. And then let's search for a fence. Of course, we've got a ton in our Thessia collection, but there's one in particular I'm quite keen to use. This one here, the broken fence. Um, it's very, very nice. Well, not, not nice in a bad way, at least. <laughs> it's got that kind of crappy broken down look to it, hasn't it? So this is definitely the vibe we can see in the street view in a place like Port Headland. So places like that. Now, of course, this is a little bit too repetitive, so... Every now and again, maybe break one down. And then we'll grab the one that has fallen down, something like that. And then we can make it look like it's fell down in a place because it is just so time worn. Maybe a piece that's a little bit more solid. Then before you know it, as you're kind of walking in and around Broker, you come across this old fence that's just totally overgrown. You can see kind of previews of the beach behind it and uh, the old commercial front over there and then it's just kind of run down a bit knackered and there's just little pathways that still go down onto the beach that people will still use to walk around so it's a vibe that we can implement pretty much across the entire beach front i think especially where we've not got commercial so i think that's what we'll run with to create the kind of overgrown i don't want to say abandoned because it's definitely not abandoned with people still living here but um i guess just run down and dilapidated is the Sort of the vibe we're trying to create, isn't it? Which can be quite tricky in cities, but uh, I think I think we'll get there with it. We really like this corner here as well with the uh, Dollar Express on it. Quite nice, isn't it? So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Uh, we got some commercial place on these corners as well. But we definitely won't say no to a Coco's Outback. completes our main commercial square there and I reckon we'll plop some more things around here and um, I definitely want to have uh, some of these Australian park homes we've got here as well oh uh, it's unfiltered for this one so it's a yeah, a bunch of these mobile trailer homes are quite nice some of them are props and some of them are actual homes how many people do they hold oh it's not placed on top of each other though There's one household but uh, they're pretty cute here. But I'd definitely love some of these to back up onto maybe the arse end of the motel. And the beach over here. So let's find a little configure spot for these. Probably... I reckon a dirt road. I reckon the sea new dirt road would be quite nice for this. So let's have it go... Not grid snap in here actually. Have it come out this way. 
we'll stretch this junction out a little bit further. There we go. Should allow it to sit in pretty seamlessly. Enough of this. We'll just have our we could connect to it. straight back down there. Couldn't be definitely no pedestrian crossing there though. It feels quite unnatural, doesn't it? So something like that, and then let's span off a couple of these little dirt roads that can hold some of the mobile homes. Stuff like that. And let's get some of them placed down. So I guess if we just search for mobile home. We can just have a couple of different ones. Probably save a couple of tiles between each of them. Try and keep it somewhat varied. There is only maybe like five or six in the collection, so not a huge amount of new assets you're going to get, but it's all about creating the vibe, isn't it? There's a few of them around. We can always use the Alt B trick as well, of course, to keep variating it up. Happy with that. Uh, let's also give them the little recycling hub as well. Might go quite nicely here. And probably something I want to clip. The, uh, the concrete off here. Just so they've got a bit of functional garbage collection. Might even bob off car parking space there as well, I think. I think we'll see. But then lots of chain link fencing around this again as well. Made the occasional trees. Just box them in, if you like. Got a few live oaks around here. Some date palms on the go as well. Some trash props in the detail time. That's also be welcome. And then I'd also like lots of again, not particularly maintained pathway, but what is essentially just well trodden path. Up to these ends and just have this sort of trailer park blend into the area around it, if you like, with some sensibly placed dirt pathways. I think again, once we grab that overgrown fence line in that we've got on this way, we should be able to have quite a nice time with it. Might even be worth doing this with intersection marking tool, I see. Let's just have a little check to see if this fence appears as a prop line for it. Let's just have a little check. So we'll change this to a prop. And then we'll search fence. Hopefully it does appear. Yeah, they do. They're here. Although they don't seem to appear, though. There's a little bit of a shame. Yeah, they don't seem to want to do it, which is a little bit annoying. Yeah, it doesn't look like some of them appear as prop fencing, which is a little bit irritating, but it's fine. We can do. We can still do it manually. It's not like it's going to eat into nodes or anything like that. I really like having the presence of a little trailer park right up on the beach here, I think. I'm really going to enjoy that. Uh, and then that spills back into the commercial, of course, which then goes back into the park over here. Uh, and then I think for... And I would like to get some more population in while we're doing today's episode. Uh, so I think for the rest of the residential, that isn't going to be trailer park. Let's have... I think a selection of King Leno's gear would go quite nicely here. And um, let's go, for example... Where, where do we want this? Yeah, well, let's have it on the way into town here. So we're going to use our Alt V trick and just pull out a selection of King Leno houses. I'm happy for kind of a mix and match of nice and run down here at least. A little side by side if you like. But mostly run down. Like this one here is probably a little bit too much on the fancier side for me. Working out to this sort of stuff. This one here as well. Anything with the pool on it, I think, is probably a little bit too much. With this one in hindsight as well now. So I think that as the extra housing option. Probably gonna be most appropriate. And we can do some extended back garden stuff through here, just drawing out hedge linings where it makes sense from where we already have them. And to fill the space behind the houses, which I think we will do. But uh, we'll see what happens in the detail time lapse anyway, I think. There's a lot to do here today. But uh, otherwise, I think I'm pretty happy with the general concept. Let's go ahead and move into that time lapse now. 
Now we're going to fill all this space here with essentially garbage and delivery detailing and lots of those graffiti decals as well. Kind of abandoned shopping trolleys and you know, piles of garbage that just aren't particularly processed or dealt with anymore and give more purpose to these back ends here. Then get some more uh, residential down because we definitely need more population in Broker. And detail up the trailer park, uh, the rest of the overgrown beachfront and some more rockier outcrops across what was the tourist beach. We'll probably draw this as our ending line today. So uh, yeah, we'll get involved in this in separate episodes and whatnot. Otherwise, let's detail up the rundown, crappy, broker, beachfront. And then we'll be right back.
Right guys, so let's take a look around the Broker beachfront, shall we? So down here is where we left. Our overgrown fence probably added some rocks in along the path with now head down toward the beach. Uh, around the motel, we've added in a tennis court and imagine this is the only kind of amenity the motel can really sell anymore. It's like, you know, come down and stay in Broker and have a round of tennis. <laughs> and then that is where their marketing ends <laughs> because there's just nothing to do around broker anymore so we've got a little tennis cup on the side of the motel use it all together with some clever surface painter and decal work so it all looks part of the same facility which then backs onto our trailer park which has been embellished with little bits of trash uh, of course the recycling hub also a park over here as well for any small children i do live on the trailer park again it's all pretty naff kind of play equipment there's nothing amazing here as the Lamborghini police car <laughs> drives through the suburb, of course. Uh, and then we come down here into more trailers that have little trash props outside of them. And then there's some more trash bins down the side here before that dirt fence or the dirt merges back into the fence and then comes back onto the high street here. Where there are a number of those graffiti decals downloaded kind of all across the high street. I ended up changing out the roads here for the uh, not well maintained. And parking lot roads they seem a little more subtle for a beachfront rather than the huge regular vanilla ones i uh, just wanted less markings on them really so this one does a job for that and then also switched this one out for a parking road as well we've also got some further kind of fractured broken fencing obviously that's just been left to rot as the sort of sea winds also kind of like batter the wooden fencing that you know used to be here and it's all just kind of falling apart now uh, our motor, we'll get into the motel in a second. We'll keep, keep focusing on the beachfront. This all comes down here. and um, There's little trash props littered all over the beach. Um, you imagine just blown in from the ocean. Or left here from people partying on the beach when they're not really supposed to anymore. Also dropped in a little smoke generator prop. Uh, with some planks as if... And some also some little fishing chairs here as well. Uh, as if, you know, someone's come out for a bit of a piss up. And a campfire on the overgrown beach. And it's really quite sad, isn't it? You know, this is what's left of Broker's tourism industry. <laughs> Just a couple of Bogans sat around a fire um, drinking a goon bag. So it shows how far the town has fallen, really, doesn't it? Uh, against all this back street here, we'll come over here. We've also got some Hearts of Korea condos. I kind of look like maybe it was an old hotel building that's now been turned into an apartment. And then we've also got some trees here against our volleyball. And then we've also got some shopping carts and general trash props knocking around the skate park. And then we do now come to the point where today's build will end. And we'll do something with this space over here. Probably some more chill suburbia vibes out here, I reckon. Definitely something to respect. The lighthouse, probably get a ferry stop in Broker as well. The kind of island chain ferry line is passing by here. So it's likely we'll make a ferry stop out of some of this land do some nice sort of layers and elevation here at some point uh, back toward the main street we got a whole mix of low density commercial and high density brooklyn's and queen stuff just for some more of those red brick vibes i mentioned i don't want lots of super modern commercial around here so all this red brick buildings from the vanilla pool that uh, really helps to kind of implement that vibe so nice to have that in here on against our shopping sort of high street Commercials, residentials, all mixed in. It's quite nice, really. Really like how it all turned out. It's a very sort of happy fuse in here, isn't it? Of all those assets. Uh, around the back of the main commercial block, there's the usual uh, sort of suspects in detailing. Crates, a ton of decals to really uh, scuff up that concrete because it always looks so clean, I think, especially when you're having so much concrete here. Uh, forklifts, moving crates and trailers, well, moving crates into trailers. Moving crates into corners. We've got some um, loading trucks here at the back of where people can load in. More crates, more forklifts, trailers over here. There's bins knocking around. There's some containers within the middle as well. Sort of general refuge and stuff for uh, the businesses over here. And then more crates, industrial props knocking around. Uh, selection of kind of dirt decals here as well, just to kind of like show where people will be walking and all that dust and dirt just kind of gathers in between the buildings as wind and people can blow it around and whatnot uh, another recycling hub over here with some more decals to kind of indicate maybe a little bit of a spillage near the bins or something just dust general grime and whatnot had to knock around near the recycling hub so and don't forget these function as actual garbage processing which is really nice they're essentially just recycling centers 
Um, so, but they're also kind of like great functional prop decoration. Yeah, beside the crate merging into the concrete, but we can overlook that. So that just fills the back of all this commercial space that we built up in the episode. Uh, it's pretty nice, I do like it, and also chucked on um, a couple of gates on the main entrances uh, into the back end of the commercial delivery area here. I imagine there's some perhaps CD goings on over this way. You can also see uh, some of the graffiti decals up on the sides of the buildings here as well. And then we also drop some uh, on the Italian diner over here as well. So managed to kind of hit that pretty rundown, crappy vibe, I think. I'm really happy with how it all turned out. Uh, and then we just surrounded the initial sort of center of the town with some uh, low density residential. Kind of get a vibe of it. It's pretty busy down here, actually. Uh, also dropped in some of those little apartment blocks we've used uh, in and around Thessia before as well. It's not the first time we've seen these. Uh, we had them over in the Arda Yakshi town, if you watched our Royal War episode. And then this all just spills back onto the kind of inner town uh, where we just have our low density residential selection and the same thing over there as well. A couple of tennis courts in around the centre, but otherwise a pretty cool kind of combination of a rundown beachfront and definitely... Really fun vibes to kind of piece together, you know, what's left of that touristic offering. And uh, the train station is getting pretty busy as well. Now it's starting to get more and more people um, arriving in to Broker. I got 364 so far. And we'll hopefully, we'll wait for this train here. There's 103 people on it. Let's see how many people get off. Hopefully be a decent amount. Of course, this is the island train. This goes a little back to the CBD, this one. Yeah, super look at that. That... Is what you want to see, isn't it? Lots of people coming out the station now, so... People are taking public transport to get out here, which is always massively appreciated, I think, isn't it? But uh, otherwise, guys, that is going to do it for today. Let's thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, likes, comments, and shares below really help the channel to grow. And I'll march to 100,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, you'll be on the fence. Maybe consider doing so. Uh, you yourself could be the 100,000 subscriber, <laughs> which would be pretty cool. If you found yourself having fun at any point today and would like to get involved in supporting the channel, there's links down to Instant Gaming and Patreon below if you're interested. There's many different things there, early access, previews, polls, alongside uh, a Patreon-exclusive podcast as well if you're interested in listening to that. Currently 10 episodes, interviews with Biffa, a few candy, City Panel plays, and a whole bunch of other stuff there, so if you want a little bit more egg in your life, head down towards those links below. Otherwise, please do enjoy today's cinematics of Broker's dilapidated beachfront. I hope you've enjoyed the vibes here today. Pretty different to anything we've done in this year. Or shut up and leave it there. Please do enjoy the cinematics. And I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.